the role that we that each of us uh, plays in relationship to it determines how we will present ourselves in the final transformation that this hints of. In other words, in this theory, there is a kind of teleological bias. There is a belief that there is a hyper-object called the overmind or God or what have you that casts a shadow into time. And history is the experiencing of this shadow. And as you draw closer and closer to the source of the shadow, the paradoxes intensify, the rate of change intensifies, the, uh, because what is happening is that this hyper-object is be beginning to ingress into three-dimensional space. Uh, one way of thinking of it is that uh, the dream and the waking world and the world of the dream begin to become one. What it really is, is that an alternative physics is beginning to impinge on, uh, on uh, reality. And it is the, the physics of light. The only experience of time that you have is a subjective time that is created by your own mentation. But in relationship to the so-called Newtonian universe, there is no time whatsoever. You exist in eternity. You have become eternal. Time as the moving image of eternity. You are then away from the moving image. You exist in this static mode. I believe that this is, uh, is what technology pushes to, and that there is no opposition between, you know, ecological balance and the people who want to leave the planet and the hyper-technologists and the hyper-naturalists. Uh, all of these are red herrings. The real uh, historical entity which is becoming imminent is uh, the human soul. And it is the monkey body has served to carry to this moment of release. And it will always serve as a focus of self-image. But it will exist uh, in a world made by the human imagination. This is what the return to the Father, the transcendence of physis, the rising out of the Gnostic universe of iron that traps the light, all these metaphors, this is what it means. It means release into the human imagination. We'll be released into the realm of art, which is what we have always striven for. We will make our world, all of our world, and the world we came from will be maintained as a garden. But what Iliad indicated as these endless metaphors of self-transforming flight will be realized momentarily as the technology of the space colony, the transition to space, and the technological conquest of space will set the stage then for the interiorization of that metaphor and the conquest of inner space and the collapse of the state vectors associated with this technology deployed in Newtonian space. And then uh, uh, man will have become more than dirt.